welcome to another episode of Caught Up with Maureen and Heather. I'm Maureen. I'm Heather. And Maureen, sorry, I'm so distracted by that fancy lady-like drink you have. It's the tiniest little martini in the world, and I'll probably polish off maybe five by the it end of the night. It doesn't look that tiny. It looks like a lot. Does that look big? May have a taste. Is, you're so dainty and little. Mm-hmm. And welcome to my boudoir again. Mm -hmm. I feel like you can see more of it. We're see? seeing more and more Ooh. of it. Okay, I wish you could do that in the background. Um, like it's only fans for you in your bedroom. That's right. Ooh. To see the good stuff, you gotta pay three bucks a month, fellas. That's right. You're getting a, I guess, a rated G version, a rated maybe PG 13 version. PG 13. So what are we talking about today, Heather? We're gonna talk about how you can live forever. Yes, yeah. Helpful tips to live a long and hopefully happy life. And it's like asterisk, like we're not doctors. No, we're not doctors. We're not scientists. No. We're just a couple middle-aged broads who read an article on is this, not that. <laughs> exactly. I mean, talk about it. I believe a, a website that's dedicated to, you know, uh, advice like, if you go um, to the Olive Garden, get chicken instead of the seven layer lasagna. Right, which is like, if you're going to the Olive Garden, I mean, I think you're getting the unlimited soup salad and breadsticks, right? Am I right? also like common sense, like. Right, yeah. So this, oh, yeah. so basically we're gonna be telling you a lot of nonsense you already know. But I mean, I do feel like there, there, there was, the article was 63 ways. We're not gonna go over all 63. Oh no. We don't have the time, and if we did have the time, we know we're best in small doses. Exactly. No exactly. one wants to listen to us talk about 63, whatever. Yes. Um, and then it's like, quit smoking, a doy. Yes, it's nothing like that. Eliminate Let's stress, a doy. Should we start with the first one? Well, it's like they say in Sound of Music, it's a very good place to start. Number one. At the very beginning, yeah. Is get enough vitamin D. Now, I have to admit, um, I was a little disappointed because what they mean by vitamin D is not what I originally thought. Which was what? Vitamin D. Like <laughs> I I didn't really fully read it. I just read the headline. Oh, so I'm like, yeah, vitamin D, yeah. sit out in the sun. I recently learned that an instant mood booster is if you eat a banana in the sun. They, they go together like peanut butter and jelly, huh? I guess so. You're in a bad mood, sit on your stoop and eat in a banana in the sun and you'll be good. And then if you throw the banana peel and somebody slips on it, your mood is like through the roof. It's hilarious. So. Have you ever seen someone slip on a banana peel in real life? No, I haven't. I'm dying to. That and going to Dollywood are the only two things on my bucket list. <laughs> I know. They made it seem like many, many years ago that people were slipping on banana peels all the time, but I don't see that. Epidemic of banana I'm going to try it. Maybe on. tomorrow after I have my banana in the sun, I'll leave it out there and set up a hidden camera to see if anyone <laughs> slips on it. And then when you get sued, I will testify as a character witness. Oh, boy. I just I just basically yeah. foiled my plan. I hope your homeowner's insurance is caught up. All right. So vitamin D, get sun. Right? And it should be easy because it's August. Exactly. And uh, most of us are working from home. So go outside right. for a few minutes. Go outside. Yes, exactly. Um, the next one is do what you love. Yeah, the problem with that for me is I love eating cheeseburgers. Um, but I feel like that's good. You should do that. You should do it once in a while. Yes, not all the time. Like, yeah. do, I think it's more... Um, it's it's not as literal as I'm taking it. Like, right. Well, I, like I was thinking, maybe you enjoy getting dressed up and bird watching in the neighborhood. That's well, something we, I like to do. We know you've been pitching that hard for. I have been now. dressing up and bird watching are the, are definitely on my list. I, I love getting dressed up. I love bird watching. Put them together. That's a perfect day. You have a very fancy bird on your sweater there. Yes, I that's, do. That's not it's the actually a dress. What's that? That's the zebra. That's the zebra. Birds. Yeah, birds. I have many you must be wild birds. Bird you know, I have like kind of like Mother Nature type of uh, yeah. leaves you too. You keep doing that move and I, I need you to stop. Okay, sorry. Um, so yeah, so whatever you like to do, like Heather and I love nachos. If we want to go out for nachos, we get the nachos. Although nachos, very hard to find in South Boston. I know, they are. Not a lot of places do nachos. So if you have any hot nacho tips, we are always open. Oh, we'll always do the great nacho roundup. I would love that. There'd be two stops, but. Yeah, exactly. But maybe, 
we broaden our horizons. We go all over Boston looking for the best nachos. That's something we would love to do. Yeah. That should be on our list. That will make us live longer. Eat nachos. Yes. And um, I yeah. think nachos go great with the margarita, which I'm having tonight. Ooh. And what, what are you drinking it out of? This is my Sophia Petrillo tiki glass. Oh, that's Speaking adorable. of doing what you love, I love the Golden Girls. You do love the Golden Girls. Nothing we love feels better than putting on, like, it's like putting on a warm sweater because I've seen the episode a hundred times. Putting it on, it's still funny. It makes me warm and fuzzy inside. And right. um, it keeps me from killing people. Right. I feel the same way about The Sopranos. I have watched the series beginning to end probably at, at a minimum of five times. Sometimes when I'm feeling like, eh, I want to put something on. I throw on the Sopranos. I instantly feel better. I mean, we have long said we wanted to put on a Sopranos brunch. So oh, we have to do what we love, which is brunch and Sopranos. That's there you go. And maybe we dress color. up. Who would you dress up as if you're going to dress? Up it's as tough. I I always say the one-legged Russian. Yes, that would be. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, I would like to dress up as Silvio. Would be tough to keep up hopping all day. It would be. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, there you go. That's something. That's something for for the future. We will plan. That's a post COVID dream, right? Post COVID, there. put it on our list. Yeah. Make um, it up right now. The other one is move every day. Yeah. Doesn't mean move from your apartment. Well, I have to say this <laughs> like was a moving as in physically moving a box and all that. Nothing like that. Yeah. I was furloughed from work for a few months, like a lot of people. Yes. And this was actually tough for me to do to move every day because right. you know, it's quarantine. We couldn't go anywhere. Um, yeah. it, it was literally an effort. And I, every morning I woke up and I would say, just you put on something you can move around even for 10 minutes in. Right. And I do think it is what somewhat, somewhat kept me sane. And that's um, when you mastered your hula hooping. It's when I, yes, I was just a novice hula hooper. And then I had all this time on my hands, which... My boss, hi Alda, if you're watching, uh, she told me she had no idea what a good hula hooper I was. Mm -hmm. Hidden secrets. Sometimes you just have to put on maybe a pair of comfortable shoes and fast walk around the neighborhood just to get the heart pumping something. Okay, because if you say so. <laughs> I'd rather do a few squats in my living room than fast walk around the neighborhood. Really? Sometimes I feel like I need the fresh air. I don't know. Yoga, I don't need some yoga, but... I think every day you should do something, some sort of physical activity. It it's your blood moving, your heart pumping. Exactly. It doesn't have you don't have to go to the gym. It doesn't have to be an hour class. Just just keep moving. Do a, it, do a, a couple thigh masters in and outs. Yes, exactly. Um, yeah. So it keep moving. Move every day. It makes you live longer. So. Right? Chair aerobics. I know I've talked about that before. Mm -hmm. That's a thing. Yeah. Um, all right, next one. Break up with booze as we both <laughs> are drinking cocktails. Let's say, Maureen, are you breaking up with booze? Um, I think I'm making up with booze. Yeah. I'm making out with booze. Um, all, it's all I'm making out with. I I have a whole love hate relationship with this concept anyway. Like I love the idea of it, and I've done Dry January before. I know it's like. It's so boring. No, I made that face because I did Dry January once with you, and you put <laughs> it on me. You went to the movies uh, during Dry January, and I brought water, and Maureen brought vodka soda in a, in a uh, tumbler. Yeah, yeah. In a tumbler. I gave up. On day six, it was January 6th. I'm like, God, it's out the window. Yep. Um, so there you go. I have a love-hate. I love the idea of it. Eh, when it comes to it, I hate it. Yeah, I well, the one Dry January I did, I think because I... I don't drink enough for it, for it to be a big difference. I didn't right. see a difference in my skin. I didn't see a difference in my weight. Um, a slight difference on my checking account. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah. Much I did notice that the month that I did do it. But um, I feel like, again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not an addiction specialist. If you have a problem, don't listen to me. I'm an idiot. Right. But I think for me, a life without booze is not a, it's not a life I want to live to be 200. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and back to do what you love. We love to go out to eat and have a couple of drinks, right? It's supporting, it's supporting local business. In support, yes, we're doing our job to support local business. I actually, I read yesterday that the liquor stores in South Africa are just opening back up. <gasps> After quarantine, oh, could no. you believe a meaner thing to do than to close all liquor stores during quarantine? Luckily, they did not do that here. I was thinking that it might, they might do that, but they didn't, thank goodness. Thank Jesus. I know. People would have been like, I don't know. Speaking of Jesus. Going crazy. 
so incredibly stealing the sacramental wine. Exactly. I know. I know. Um, moderation. Everything in moderation. Yes, absolutely. Don't get pickled every night. Although maybe if you pickled yourself, you would live to be forever. So I don't know. I Keith feel, Richards. I feel like all the ladies, the old ladies on the Smucker jars, you know, like on, on with Al Roker on the Today Show, they'll be like, she enjoys a, a cup of whiskey every night. She eats a pack of bacon. Time. Huh? She eats, you know, four slices of bacon, smokes a pack of cigs. Yeah. And polishes her night polishes off. Polishes off with the highball at the end of the day. Yeah. He's 104. So, I mean, whatever. You do you, right? Yeah. But just um, maybe if you, I'm thinking like, because I, you know, numbers wise. Yeah. What enjoyment am I losing out? Especially socially giving up. Yeah. To get, yeah. How many more years is it giving me in the end? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. I'll get double my vitamin D. All right. Last one on our list. Yes. Make an effort to learn new things. This is hard for me. Yes. I think it's hard for everybody. I think it's hard for adults. Yes. Definitely. Kids will try anything. Karate, anything. No. piano lessons. Not being good at something is not fun. Yes. So when you and mess also, up and you're not good at it. And I think it's sometimes out of your comfort zone and you're just like, ah, forget it. But it stimulates new areas of the brain. Yes, 100%. You don't have to do it forever. Maybe it's something physical you want to learn, like to tap dance. I'd or, love I to know, learn. Play the, the banjo. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe something intellectual, like uh, learn a new language. Sudoku? What is it? A Sudoku puzzle? Is that yeah, a oh, I can't do that. I don't need them. <laughs> I don't like any of those puzzles. That hurts my brain, which is showing me that I need to That's improve that. I tried to take up knitting once. I actually took lessons. Oh, no. I'm and terrible at it. teaching the lesson got so frustrated. She told me to just give her my needles and she would finish the blanket herself. I forget it. Try something different. Lost cause. But Lost you tried. Cause. You tried. Yeah, and actually, a few weeks ago, Maureen, we, had some, we went back to Dancing Irish Step, and we had some friends who did Irish Step dancing as they try something new. Yes, it was a lot of fun. And uh, they're living. So they're living, they're, yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you should definitely try something new. Um, like, maybe, like maybe commenting on this video. Yeah. Maybe you've yeah, not comment on the before. video. Let us know what you would like us to talk about next week. We're always open to suggestions. Clearly, because look at what we gave you tonight. Exactly. From this, not that. Exactly. And uh, I hope you tune in next week. I mean, I had fun. Did you have fun, Heather? I always have fun with you. Did we want to say goodbye like the Brady Bunch? That took us a lot of practice, you guys. We so. practiced for 15 minutes. We need more squares to realize. Exactly. We need some more friends. But anyway, until next time, you've been listening to uh, or watching Caught Up yes. on NECN. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we will see you next week. Yes. Share. Share and like. Share and like. Thumbs up. All right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thank Bye. you.